Hello, this is Terry Bradshaw, Research Specialist at the University of Vermont. In this third part of this presentation from the 2011 New England Vegetable and Fruit Meetings in Manchester, New Hampshire, I will discuss the horticultural performance of trees in Orchard 2, an orchard that was top crafted in 2006 to the five apple cultivars, Ginger Gold, Honeycrisp, Liberty, McCowan, and Zestars. This orchard is located in South Burlington, Vermont, and has been organically managed since 2006. The original orchard contained Macintosh and Liberty trees grafted onto Malling 26 semi-dwarf rootstock and planted in 1988. In this top grafted orchard, tree survivability has been an important component of system performance. Since grafting, some trees have been lost from decline resulting from initial stress involved with the grafting operation, from fungal wood rots, or from physical graft breakage. Trees have been assessed annually for relative health on a 0 to 3 scale, where a 2 indicates that the tree has moderate vigor and a minimum health status to justify keeping it as a research tree. Looking at the data for the proportion of all trees for each cultivar with a general health rating greater than 2, we can see that there's no statistical separation between the cultivars. However, McCowan and Zestar have lost 37% of their trees that were originally grafted during the years of the study, and Liberty has lost 24%. This loss of trees will greatly affect the economic potential of this planting. However, the decline does appear to be stable. There's a similar status between 2009 and 2011, which indicates that the trees that survived the initial grafting operation and their early years of establishment will have continued to grow well under the organic management system practiced in this orchard. Orchard 2 has produced reasonably good yields on some cultivars during the study years. In 2011, similar to what we saw in Orchard 1, Ginger Gold had the greatest yield of all five cultivars. Zestar and Honeycrisp ranked similarly for marketable yield efficiency. The yield in bushels per acre was not statistically analyzed, however we present it here as a familiar standard that growers may be able to, to apply to their own situations. Ginger Gold performed quite well with over 500 bushels per acre and Honeycrisp with nearly 350 bushels per acre in 2011. It is important to note that this is a single year's data being presented here. If we compare the bushels per acre across the three seasons, we generally see increases from 2009 to 2011. Keep in mind that in 2010, the orchard did experience frost conditions during bloom, which likely lowered total yield in the orchard during that year. However, we are seeing increases from 2009 to 2011 on all cultivars except Liberty, which has declined during that period. Organica Orchards 1 and 2 are not designed statistically for direct comparison. However, looking at general estimates of bushels per acre for each orchard in 2011, we can see that Orchard 2 has produced better yields, and Ginger Gold and Honeycrisp yielded better across both orchards. From our experience in Orchard 2, we can see that yield efficiency may not be the best measurement of yield performance on top grafted trees. This makes sense because we are measuring the yield produced on a six-year-old grafted portion of a tree against a 23-year-old trunk. However, if we look at the yield in bushels per acre, which was not statistically analyzed, it does correlate quite well with the marketable fruit yield efficiency in 2011. From our experience in Orchard 2, we can see that top grafting appears to be an economical and sustainable technique to change existing apple cultivars. However, its success can be cultivar dependent and several years may be necessary to determine the success or failure of the grafting operation. We will note that for most horticultural parameters measured, 
there is no significant interstock effect from the original cultivar in Orchard 2 to which the scions were grafted. In both orchards, Liberty had significantly higher number of fruit drop than the other cultivars. And in both orchards, Liberty and McCowan are not performing as well as the other cultivars. The Organica project would not be possible without funding from the USDA, from the various universities involved in the project, and from apple growers. We very much appreciate your support. Please view the other presentations from this meeting and visit the project website shown on your screen for more information. Thank you very much.